week, we were live at the Bethlehem Food Co-op location announcement to talk about that transformative project and how it's gonna help to lead to the momentum of the revitalization in those neighborhoods. Today, we are over here on the west side, right here in the Rose Garden, to talk about how we're gonna bring a similar initiative over here to the west side. Residents, business owners, a school district coming together to accomplish shared goals and priorities for our neighborhoods. West Bethlehem has seen significant investment from City Hall over the past couple of years, and we need to increase that investment. We are here in the Rose Garden where you can see phase one of the improvements is already underway. A passionate group of neighbors came together to create the farmer's market a few years ago that's here on Saturdays in the spring and also advocate for some improvements to the Rose Garden itself. We're in the middle of the $200,000 in improvements right now as part of phase one, and there's a phase two on deck in the next couple of years that will add another $200,000 in improvements to our neighborhood. No conversation about improving the West Side can occur without talking about what to do about Broad Street. As any resident of the West Side can tell you, this street was not designed for people that live in the neighborhood, but rather about how to move cars through the West Side as quickly as possible. If you take a look here and you look up the street here, you can see how wide of a street this is. You can see how fast the cars move. And not only does it just give off terrible negative energy into the neighborhood, but it also makes it tougher and tougher to walk around. We have beautiful properties, beautiful churches on Broad Street, and all of them are hidden by what goes on right here in the street. So what do we have to do? We have to go block by block. I will not say that this is something that can be done quickly and it's not gonna be cheap either, but we need to have a master plan about how we turn Broad Street from this thoroughfare where cars go entirely too fast to something that adds vibrancy and quality of life to our neighborhoods. We need spaces in our neighborhoods where people can come together and relax and get to know each other. We're here at Fairview Park at 4th and Market Street, which is a, a neighborhood park that if you take a look around, it's got some wonderful things, but there's also more that we could do to even enhance this park and take it to the next level. How do you do that? By asking the people in the neighborhood, what are you looking for? Putting together surveys, asking for feedback, and then you break it down into short-term and long-term priorities. What can we do on Saturday? What, can it what, what takes a couple hours to, to, to use your passion and use your interest in your neighborhood versus what is it that's gonna take some more funding and, and a, a longer term kind of plan. But the key is to bring that coalition together, come up with small victories, build some momentum, and show the people in the neighborhood, look, this is a priority for us and we're gonna make this happen in our neighborhood. Once again, I wanna thank you for joining us today as we walk through the west side and talk about some things we can do. It's March, the NCAA tournament's going on, we're in a park. So there's only one way for us to finish this episode of the Bethlehem. Oh, first take, first take. <laughs>